A massive leak just happened showcasing the first ever screenshot of the remake of Plaza coming in with Halo Infinite and it to me looks awesome. The community not so keen on it but there are some interesting parts I actually have some concerns about. So if you guys like these news and informational videos make sure to tap that like button as it is the best way to help out the video and channel within the all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo make sure you tap subscribe and let's get right into those details. And here's our first look at Plaza being remade within Halo Infinite's Forge mode. The first impressions for me on this one is, wow, this is amazingly forged. This looks like, like a straight up dev map. If you told me this was a dev map, I would believe you. And also, it's not green, as that was the major color within the color palette of the original map in Plaza, which I didn't mind it. I actually didn't really care much for the visual coloring of that map. I felt like the green was a little too prominent within the color palette of that map. It didn't really seem very realistic or believable. Though this Forge remake does look incredible. It's a bit more drab, a bit more of a depressing tone to it, given the state of the Halo community. I mean, oh uh, well. So while we only have this singular screenshot, I think I have a good reason why why they changed the visual style of the map and there are some significant changes made to this image in particular. So someone recreated Plaza within Halo Infinite's Forge is just a user out there who made a really awesome recreation and I love what they did with this map but when you compare the visuals of this compared to this you can kind of see how this map looks much more like a dev map and while this one while fantastically forged looks just like Plaza it looks more like a forge map. Now I'm sure if the forger here knew that their map was gonna be put in the matchmaking they might try some different things but you kind of get the idea what I'm getting at here where uh, while this does look rather faithful to the original it's just that when you see this recreation it just has like a that certain level of fidelity that makes you think like that's an actual dev map while this one this looks more like a forge map i will say though that this map does have some interesting changes mainly check out this jump from bottom mid to top mid right before this was quite the skill jump in halo 5 now you actually see that there is like this level that you can definitely use crouch jump or grapple onto and then be able to jump to top mid where on this map I probably won't be as prominent you can clamber up like this and you have to do like a clamber up again a different angle so it's a bit more of a skill jump with this, like this forge recreation it also looks like they replaced some of the cars on the map with just different objects as you can see down here there's a bit like this bit of a broken down piece of construction that's on the ground right there where you can see if right here trying to recreate what a car looks like in forge well, I would say they did a good job of recreating the Halo 5 cars. It definitely just doesn't really feel like a car, if you know what I mean. Again, that's no knock on the person who forged this. I mean, like, look at this truck right here that they forged. This looks amazing. This looks like a truck you would see in the future. But, you know, sometimes, like, the scaling and the shapes of various vehicles can look kind of odd. Even their original plaza cars didn't really look or kind of feel like those are actual cars an interesting thing would be to see what they do with this bottom weapon pad right here where this is where the light rifle used to spawn back in halo 5 obviously there is no light rifle in halo infinite in this version someone did put in the stalker rifle which i think would actually fit rather well if you're trying to recreate that similar sandbox feel talking about sandbox items the biggest concern i have on this recreation right here is if you look on the left side over here look what's there that doesn't look like a sniper rifle that looks like a skewer and if they put a skewer on this map man it's like dude i don't want to play around with a skewer in 4v4 i want to play around with the freaking sniper rifle because a sniper rifle just plays out way better in 4v4 and i have a lot more fun with it now this could be a thing where maybe it rotates between sniper and skewer that's fine. I mean, I would much rather see a sniper rifle spawn here every time because the sniper rifle is just way more fun to use, in my opinion. Or I feel like skewers are much more designed to be for like anti vehicle and maybe more like wackier kind of fun mode kind of stuff. Now, a very popular jump back in Plaza was going from right by the sniper spawn, jumping on like a little switch, end up going up to the ledge. As you can see, the person who forged the map recreated the jump very well. That was pretty easy to hit, actually, easier than it is in Halo 5. Or the Halo Infinite version, I don't know, because if you look again on this side, there's a significant angle right here to this wall to maybe where you couldn't use it as a jump up, maybe. There still is this level right here, so you should be able to jump off of like say top mid 
to right here or vice versa. So there should be some way to kind of get up into this upper location. But I'm saying that maybe they changed up the jumps in some certain way, something like this, like I just did in this map to where you'd be able to jump on the map. Again, it's just kind of speculation, just kind of viewing to see what's going on with the map at the moment. Keep in mind, this is a leaked image. And so it's early access development that we're seeing when it comes to the map of Plaza within Halo Infinite. Things right here, especially hopefully that skewer over here, can be subject to change. We even saw this with the Pit remake back when they first revealed it during the HCS event. For example, when they first revealed Empyrean at the HCS Orlando event, when it comes to just playing the map and showcasing what, how, the changes that they made, one, the lighting is completely different. And also the stairs right here, which traditionally would just go straight forward, were actually rotated 90 degrees. I'm sure that was probably a way to play off of the curb slide ability within Halo Infinite. And you can see within the final reveal and release of the game, well, they just reverted it back to the classic stairs, which I actually appreciate that much more because it just brings back that classic feel a bit more. You also see how different the lighting is, much more harsher on the brights and the darks and also the angle of the sun is completely different on here also if you look up top you can see how this is like all bright pink kind of coloring and this is much more of a subdued kind of highlight edge of uh, the synth wavy kind of colors that this i to go with on this map 343 also revealed the near future plans for halo infinite they actually talked about or at least responded to questions about cross core customization and campaign dlc season four content, and a whole lot more. If you guys want to know all about that, check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.